Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer who's looking to enhance their scene kit project. They want to know how to render a shadow on a transparent floor or plane, allowing the background of their scene view to shine through. This is a challenge many face, especially when trying to achieve that perfect visual effect. Our viewer mentions that 3JS has a shadow material that accomplishes this, but they're considering creating a custom metal shader. Let's dive into the details and explore how they can achieve this shadow catching effect. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To render a shadow on a transparent plane in Scene Kit, we first need to understand how shadows work in 3D graphics. Unlike 3JS, Scene Kit does not have a built-in shadow material, so we will create a custom solution. The first step is to create a transparent plane that will act as our shadow catcher. This plane will be invisible, but will still receive shadows from other objects in the scene. Next, we will implement a custom metal shader. This shader will allow us to render only the shadows on the transparent plane while keeping the background visible. Finally, we need to configure the lighting in our scene. Make sure that the light sources are set to cast shadows and adjust the shadow properties to achieve the desired effect. By following these steps, you can successfully render shadows on a transparent plane in Scene Kit, similar to the Shadow Catcher in Maya. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To show a shadow on a transparent floor in Scene Kit, check out this example project on GitHub. The shader performs shadow map testing by normalizing the Z position of the fragment and comparing it to the shadow map's Z buffer. For transparency, modify the shader code. Set line 67 to emit fully transparent pixels and line 69 to control shadow opacity. Use a uniform for shadow opacity ranging from 0.0 to 1.0. The rest of the setup is in the example. Adjust the plane or camera as needed and skip drawing the main object if you don't want it in the scene, but keep the shadow pass. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.